Welcome back. November is Lung Cancer Awareness Month, and we are here today with Dr. Justin Thomas, a familiar face, a board-certified interventional pulmonologist and critical care physician from Eisenhower Health. Thank you for joining us. Well, oh, thanks, Angela, for having me. A lot to talk about with lung cancer screening. Um, it is the leading cause of death for cancer. I didn't know that. It is. Yeah, it actually uh, it kills more people per year than breast, colon, mm. and prostate cancer combined. And it's tough because, you know, we're talking about symptoms and often you don't have any until it's too late. Can we talk about? Yeah, so unfortunately to... lung cancer is caught in late stages most of the time, about 80% of the time caught in late stage. So, and the reason for that is because it does not cause symptoms until later. Um, and so that's why lung cancer screening or early detection is really important for lung cancer and saving people's lives. Right, and some people are at higher risk than others. Can we talk about those? Yeah, so patients who can qualify for lung cancer screening right off the bat are patients who are age 50 to 80, okay. who have smoked 20 pack years. So what that means is like one pack a day for 20 years or maybe half a pack a day for 40 years, two packs a day for 10 years, uh, basically equaling 20 pack years, and having quit in the last 15 years or being current smokers. So those patients getting a low dose CT scan on an annual basis has been shown to reduce their chances of dying from lung cancer by 20 to up to 40 percent. Yeah, it's something you just got to keep in mind. Those screenings yep. are so important to very, do. Very, very. Uh, I also wanted to talk about people having issues with the breathing, their lungs. Ever since Tropical Storm Hillary, we've seen a lot of dust in the air. What have you seen in terms of people coming to your office? Yeah, in the valley here, what we're seeing, you know, with all of the dust storms and everything uh, is, uh, and all the scalping too this time of year, we see it yeah. We see it every year, but um, is uh, asthma exacerbation. So people are getting asthma flares, flares of their COPD. Um, we may even end up starting to see more valley fever type stuff too, oh. because that's a, that's a fungus that's in the dust here. and. Uh, Patients can get infected by a fungus. Uh, usually if you're immunocompetent and don't have trouble with your immune system, you can fight that off just fine without any treatment, but um, we'll probably end up seeing a spike in that too, I would imagine. Yeah, it's uh, it's one of those things where how do you know when you should go in or if you should just stick it out and maybe it's just temporary? Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're having trouble, particularly if you have any sort of background lung trouble like asthma or COPD and you're having trouble with breathing, worsening cough, those are symptoms to get checked out by your okay. primary doctor. Very good to know. Yeah. Again, Lung Cancer Awareness Month. Thank you for all this insight. If you'd Thank like you. more information, head to Eisenhower Health's website, eisenhowerhealth.org slash lung for that specific info. Thank you, Dr. Justin Thanks, Thomas, for Angela. coming on. Appreciate Always it. Always a pleasure. Always. Thank you.